what's going on YouTube. My name's Lucas. Welcome to my studio and my YouTube channel. So we're going to be talking about losing files in Ableton. So sometimes you'll open up the uh, session, which I'll show you in a second, and it'll say the files are offline. In order for me to explain that, how all this works as it relates specifically to Ableton and its file management system, I kind of have to start from the beginning so that you understand everything about how this works. A common situation that happens is, you know, let's say we downloaded like an MP3 or an acapella or a beat or something and you're using it in your project, right? So you drag it into Ableton. So right now, as it is, Ableton is referencing this file. So Ableton is referring to my downloads to create this audio file. There was no pop-up window that asked me if I wanted to copy this over to the project file. So I'll show you what that means in a second. In other DAWs like Pro Tools and I think Logic and Cubase too, if you import audio like that, drag and drop or via the import audio window, which Ableton does not have, um, it will ask you, do you want to copy this to the project file or do you want to just simply reference it from your hard drive, from your downloads folder, your desktop, wherever it may be located in your hard drive, right? Or an external drive. So Ableton did not ask me that. So that's one source of confusion. So the nice thing is that there's no pop-up windows and things like that, but the bad thing is we might forget later that this is coming from the desktop and if you delete that or move that file, what will happen is it won't load correctly. So what I'll just demonstrate what happens if I do that. So I'm gonna trash this file and already I didn't even have to reload the project. This is what happens, right? And you get media files are missing. Please click here to learn more. So I'm going to explain to you exactly how to deal with this in just one moment. There's two scenarios. One, for, for files like this that you, you're importing in your session, so this applies to acapellas that you download off the internet, um, anything on your hard drive, any samples that you have loaded in drum rack. So let's say you have drum rack and you load up a sample here from your splice folder or whatever. Ableton's going to be referencing all of those files. Any files in your project, it's going to be referencing from another location on your hard drive if you do not collect all and save. So this window is extremely important. If I go to my finder, I'll show you right, we have my whole hard drive, so Ableton's either referencing files from there or it's referencing files from the actual Ableton project. So if I save this, I'll go, so I have an Ableton Sessions folder set up, which I highly recommend so you don't have everything scattered all over your desktop and different parts of your drive. You really want all your Ableton Sessions in one place and I'll put this in my YouTube videos and I'm gonna name this file management demo. Now if I open up Finder and I go to that exact folder that I just pulled up here, file management demo project, right? So this is the Ableton folder. So right now nothing else is in here except for the project file because I haven't used any audio, audio files. So let me put some audio files in. So I'll take a drum loop, a drum fill, whatever. I'm just gonna grab random stuff, record some audio, Okay, so here we have a project, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to File, Collect All, and Save. Files from elsewhere, files from user library, all this stuff, we're gonna save it into the project file. So I'll show you what that's done. Now this is reloaded. So now, if I look at my file management demo project video, I have new folders here. So I have samples imported. So these are everything that I've imported. So this is the drum loop. This is the audio file that I had imported. And then I also recorded audio too, so there's a recorded folder. So this samples folder is super critical. You, don't, you do not want to ever lose this, and you also want it to be in the correct folder for the project that you're in too. You don't want to keep saving a bunch of different songs in this one folder. So let me just show you one thing here with that. If I create a new file and I save it, it's gonna automatically go to the last folder that I was using and I would recommend not saving it here because what's gonna happen is you're gonna have multiple songs with shared record files in this folder. So if anything gets uh, gets deleted or if your hard drive crashes or something, you're gonna lose multiple songs or multiple audio files from songs that are in, in one folder that's confused. So what I recommend doing is go back to your parent folder and save the project elsewhere so that you have that set up. And what I've actually done, as you can see here in my Ableton sessions, I have this saved for every single client, every single person that I collaborate with, and I have one for myself too, so that I keep that organized that way. You can have a folder for templates, etc. Let me open back uh, the last set. So here's what we have. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if I delete all these files. 
So I'm, you would never do this, but if I deleted these imported files, now it won't be able to locate them. This is probably the problem that you're having, which is why you're looking up the video, which is the whole point of why I'm doing this. So this is the process. You double click here. So this happens literally only when something's moved, something's deleted, you're opening an Ableton project on another computer that you didn't use to record. And basically what happens is Ableton is confused right now because it is not able to locate the file. So the files are not in the project uh, folder. They're somewhere else on the computer or they've been deleted or don't exist. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this for this particular scenario, but this might be unique to your situation. For example, if you're using hard drives or if you're sharing files, this could be a bit more complicated, but hopefully now you can understand how the file structure works. So what I'm gonna do is I remember where these came from, right? Because I know that this was probably from my downloads folder and I could guess this looks like a drum loop or a drum sample. So it's probably from my sample library, right? So what you're gonna do is before doing the automatic search file, Function, what I like to do is I like to set a folder that way it's not searching the whole computer because that'll take forever so first I'll select my downloads and hit open and now I'll hit go and it's gonna search my whole downloads and it says two new candidates were found two missing files were replaced automatically boom that's it it did it and now though everything's gone so it actually was able to find magically somehow was able to find this splice sample but what I would have done is I would have selected my splice samples folder and had it automatically search for that so this could potentially be more complicated if you have external hard drives or if you got the file from someone else. You need to know where these samples and things are coming from. If someone sends you an Ableton file and they did not hit collect all and save, chances are all those drum samples and things aren't in the Ableton project file. So I recommend always, 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 I, without any exceptions, hit collect all and save at some point in the session, usually when I'm bouncing the track. That way everything from my computer, my hard drives, whatever, is all collected in that Ableton project file rather than being referenced on my desktop. So. Hopefully that answers that question. Let me know if you guys have more problems with this. Let me know if this was useful and I'll try to make uh, better and better videos for you that answer questions that come up with Ableton. So again, my name's Lucas. Subscribe if you thought this was helpful and check out my website for free downloads. I have Ableton racks and different things that you can just get for free. So later.